What is up, YouTube? My name is Matt, and I've got Mason over here. Today we are featuring Lost Zone Gudra V-Star up against Spidops with Leafeon VMAX. I'm super excited to see what Mason's got over here. I have heard of the deck. I've seen zero deck lists of this Spidops deck. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see. I know that he hits for a lot of damage the higher my retreat cost is. So let's get straight into it. Would you like heads or tails? Heads, please. It is tails. I will go first. I will get that timer started once we set up here. Okay. I have a mulligan here. Wait, let me see that. Yep, let me see that. You're good. Lost City. Okay, that's weird. Cool. Okay. Got one this time. Get started here. I'll take my mulligan. And good luck. Good luck. Draw for the turn. Not the greatest thing I've ever seen, but not the worst. We'll start off with Ultra Ball discarding Drapion and the Metal Energy. Gonna do a quick energy check here. That will be the Pokemon I grab for sure. I'm going to run over and check for some Chloris and some Mirage Gate and call it good there. Yeah, I mean, I see a BDO, so technically if I didn't know what match I was going into, no clue what's going on. We're going to Ultra Ball for the Radiant Greninja. Looking to draw some extra cards this turn. Got our tap. I will use concealed cards, discarding metal. I will flower selecting. We're going to lost on the water energy. I'll play the nest ball. Definitely gonna grab another comfy here, just running over some more resources. Gonna try and get as many into the lost zone as possible so I have the best chance to get to turn two rolling iron. Two is practically the minimum to be able to pull that off, so we'll see if my plan ends up working out for me. I am going to attach retreat into this other combe and flower selecting. We're gonna go ahead and pitch the boss. Pitch a Gudra and pass. Cool. I uh, will draw for turn. I'm looking at a little bit of an awkward hand here. I'm just gonna have to pitch some of these guys and get uh, go for a good setup. So okay. Ultra Ballway spot ups, EX and a boss's orders. I will grab a Tarantula we'll after I take a this quick look is. at my prize cards. Yeah, if you guys don't know what Spidops EX does, its ability Trap Territory says your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost is colorless more, and mm -hmm. Wire Hang for a Grass and a Colorless does 90 plus 30 more damage for each colorless in your opponent's retreat. Cool. We haven't gotten to show this Spide Ops deck off uh, on stream just yet, or uh, on YouTube, so. Yikes. Yeah, man, it's a pretty Tried fun to card. Hit all just... of them, and that's one of the one of the decks that we missed. Yeah. Got a feature, right? I think there's a way to make it work right now. This version's not the best, but someone's gonna crack the code. We'll see. Catch return on the tarantula and just use a professor's research. Okay. Right, seven fresh cards. Found Vistar and a judge. Let's go for a capturing aroma. Ed, so Oops. that's an evolution Pokemon. Okay. 
I'm going to leave you on VMAX here. Okay. That does 60 for each. For each re retreat and your okay. retreat cost, yeah. Um, Thatch. XP share. Over here. All right. Well, let me think about that. We'll do it over here. And then I will end the turn by using greening cells. Sure. Okay. I'll draw for turn. I would definitely love to take a double knockout here. The BDF is in the active, so it's not on the bench. Doesn't have that bench protection. Or even just a knockout. But the question is, can you get your loss zone left. going without using escape right. rope? You know what I mean? Exactly. Since you don't have scoop up even that anymore. Even um, yeah, there's just a whole bunch of cards I need here. Let's see what we can do. We're going to start off with the flower selecting. Don't like giving away what my hand is. But for this current scenario, we are going to get rid of a Colrus. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and play down the beach court, and we're going to retreat for free. Flower selecting. These are the cards that I don't want to keep seeing, but we're seeing them. Gotta be a water energy. I'm going to bench a third Comfe. Switch. Flower selecting. Finally an easy choice. Getting a little bit scared there that I wasn't going to have an easy choice. We'll go ahead and play Chorus. these three. Get rid of Nest Ball Roxanne. That does put us at seven. I'm going to evolve into Gudra V-Star. Unfortunately for us, seven doesn't mean too much this turn. Sweet. No Mirage Gate, Survive. huh? Nope. Let's go ahead and attach return onto the V-Star. And pass. Okay. Even beat who lives. I'll draw for turn. I'm going to start by evolving Spide Ops and Leafy on VMAX. And okay. go for a Capturing Aroma. Another Heads. So I'm definitely going to get Bybrail here. He's probably going to die in the active, but at least I'll get one turn. Mm-hmm. To use him. Strong cards is always super nice. Yeah, and I wasn't really close to that combo this past turn. I was two pieces away, so. Kind of surprising considering how many cards I got to draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lost Box is like that sometimes. Yep. Seems like you get plenty of stuff in the Lost Zone, but you don't get the pieces you need off of them. I'm going to definitely bump your stadium with Temple sure. of Sinnoh. And... Hmm. Go for Industrial Synthesizers here. Okay. For three. Okay, that's pretty good. Got the attachment for turn on Leafy on VMAX, as well as a Nest Ball. And then you're going to start setting up some Tarantulas here. Very nice. Trying to figure out my prize mapping. Okay. It's Go to a little bit confusing at what I'm looking at here. You're 260 hit points on a two prizer. Cards in hand? Six. Okay. In this situation, I'm contemplating between playing Judge 
or just bossing up the Gooner V-Star. I know you don't have Mirage Gate in hand, but that doesn't mean you don't have another Colress. Um... I think because of the other cards in my hand, I am going to go ahead and boss his Order Scooter V-Star this turn. Yep. And we will just pass there. Alrighty, I will draw for the turn. Hmm. I think we will just go straight for this Colress. Sending those two. Very interesting scenario here. <clears throat> We're going to conceal cards. So this doesn't have to be in the active, right? Nope. Okay. And they're stackable too. Yep. Alrighty. Escape rope. Mm. Okay, I think I just bring up my main attacker here. His high HP means he's not getting knocked out, so it's probably pretty safe to do that. Flower selecting. Gotta be very careful with my resources. So I don't get stuck. We're going to loss on a switch. Yeah, it's always super interesting to play against decks that have like control elements, right? Yes, definitely. It's like a little puzzle you have to solve every turn and play as little cards as possible. Right. We're going to go ahead and energy recycler. Unfortunately, you do have to get your game going too, so you kind of have to play Sending these cards free right, metal cool. and a water I actually really enjoy playing against control decks I don't Same. really like playing them but I like playing them and also I feel more confident in playing against them yes yeah, you've some learned the strategies for, for sure it's I think it's fun to play against them because it's like you're it's a challenge you know what I mean it's a different play style yep I think it makes you a bit of a better player yeah it definitely does Sometimes you have to know when to go turbo and when to settle yep. down and just be patient. Right, you really have to hold back. And that's like something that's really hard for a lot of newer Pokemon players to do because right. it's such a turbo game, right? Fully agreed. Feel great here, but we are going to go ahead and play this Switch okay. to get into our Gudra. And I'm also going to bench Cramorant. And then we are going to Rolling Iron for 200. Okay. That is pretty good for you because unfortunately I won't be able to I was a little surprised you. to see you promote uh, the Leafy on there, but ended up working out in my favor. Maybe that wasn't the right choice. But we'll see. 200. Go for turn. Evolve to Spideops EX here. And I'm just going to go ahead and play Judge. Okay. So the 200 sets up for Cramorant potentially next turn if I need to do that. Light Ops can be set up through Radiant Greninja attack or Cramorant again. So figuring that um, some sort of hand disruption was coming, I did bench the Cramorant preemptively. Kind of tap. Okay. We, we both get off of this judge Drawing here. four cards. Start with the Capturing Aroma. Another heads this game. Is that like, like I can't even, I don't even know if it's good or bad at this point. It's bad right now. I'd certainly like to get another <laughs> Why try. Why Capturing that. Aroma? Um, I might just fail it here so I can draw more cards of my by barrel. Okay. Now knowing that Matt could kill my Leafeon with and I could attach to it and go for leaf max leaf to heal some damage. Since I'm going in pretty then, blind here, I mean a, a knockout on this leaf would be massive because I mean yeah. that's where your damage output's coming from, but that would put me in rock sand turn, so I'd want to thin it as best I can. Right, I cut a tap here. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I'm not getting the one shot. I'm going to attach here to at least put on a little pressure. You're probably going to just moisture yep. start either way. And then we'll use industry synthesis for three. Okay. So We're you're hitting for hitting the 300 for damage right now. I would be hitting minus for 300, 80. minus 80, but instead we're just going to actually go for the max leaf. Okay. Which will do 90. This 90 and I heal 30. 30. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the Cramorant play is not happening this turn, but I think that's totally okay. I'll draw five retreats. Spite Ops is hitting me for... That guy would just be hitting you for 240. Minus the 80, 160. Yeah. Okay, that's still two shots. But it is still good to get this threat off the board. Problem is, I don't have much else going for me this turn. So it is... Hmm. I don't think I need to V-Star this turn. We're just going to go ahead and Rolling Iron for the knockout. Okay. Three prizes. XP I hope you don't do something here. absolutely nutty here. Promote Spite Ops EX. But I suppose if you got it, you got it. And we will draw for turn. Another EXP share on this Spite Ops. Gotta keep them rolling, right? Right. Attach for turn. This is the tricky part here. Hmm. 40... I have an Echoing Horn in my hand, and I kind of want to preserve that in case I can do You can't do some... use it anyways. Right, no, but in case I kill something and then I get a good V back. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm actually going to use Luminous Sign to get Judge instead. Yeah. I had a research in my hand. Actually, we'll just get the Roxanne, obviously. Here. Sure, that yep. works out too, so you do play the Roxanne. We'll note that for the upcoming games. So hopefully this just slows you down. A couple down Judge enough. and a Roxanne. <laughs> for you yeah we actually have four judge in this list right now holy moly yeah i don't know how good it is great for but disruption when certainly you need disruptive, your opponent right? to turn so you can get set up capturing aroma fails this time which is a basic hey you're doing the thing now yeah doing some stuff um go ahead and get leafy on v and then we'll go back in with an Ultra Ball, getting rid of Manaphy and Snowleaf. Yeah, well, actually, hold, yeah, let me think. Wait, what did I just see there? What this? was that? Snowleaf badge. Okay. I th yeah, I, it's I thought pretty, I saw Quadstone. It's pretty sweet. No, I, I wish. I quad literally stone. thought I saw a Quadstone. I was like, what is going on? Um, so For those who don't know Quadstone, if you play four, 90. you heal all damage from all your Pokemon. So you chose not yeah. to Moisture Star last turn, right? Because you don't get the Oko. So I, wait, I'd be hitting 240 minus 80 is 160. Yep. That's only 250, That's right? 250, so you're uh, 20 yeah, short. Yeah. Let's get rid of that Vitality Band then. Yep. You have the XP here yeah, attached, so that's kind of why I did would be that. pretty sweet, right? That's true, but, but uh, yeah, you get the XP share, share on. All right, let's get Tarantula. To round boy. Getting through the spite off is gonna be a bit of work, so I wanna try and guess around it when I can. Go to tap. You still have access to be barrel. Yep. That snow leaf badge here to the leafy on V. Alrighty. Industry synthesizer. And that removes four. weakness? Weakness and gives it free retreat. Oh, okay, that's super nice. Yeah, it's kinda neat. Okie dokie. Let's just wire hang for 240 minus 80, 160. Pretty obvious what I'm going to do here, so I'm just going to put a 2. Yep, you're good. 20 left. We'll draw. I will do the thing. Moisture star popping my B star. Boss, because okay. Roxanne is a lie, as we all know. Yeah. Rolling iron for the knockout. Sweet. And, uh, you got Down boss. to one prize left. 
Oh, Looks oh, like oh. nothing even happened oh, on my board. Turn. Well, the sprite ops there. The third one. Let's go with a nest ball. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm out of options there. This is where that Leafeon would have quite literally O-code my Gudra with three spite ops in play. Yeah, it would have been pretty sweet. Unfortunately, this deck sucks. Well, I mean, I had the boss that turn. If I didn't, would you yeah. have had it? Oh, I had Leafeon VMAX in hand, yeah. Right. Did you but I had no way to power energy? it up, right? Oh, you didn't have an energy on it, right? right? No, I did not. Oh, okay. Still almost would have gotten there. At That's least you know there's here. definitely an out to getting to getting there. This your synthesizers for two. Okay. Okay. So now your retreat cost is six. We will wire hang for two hundred seventy minus eighty one ninety. One hundred and ninety damage. Drop for turn. Send you into double bosses orders, right? Looking for it. That's for sure. Play that yet. We're gonna go ahead and conceal cards. Okay, gear. Alright, flip them over. Are you looking right at it? No? Missed it. How sad? Still a fighting chance, somehow. <laughs> Tap. Super unfortunate for me there. Mm. You have five cards in hand? Yep. Let me check your discard pile real quick. Now this Plus is where this gets yeah, this is where this gets a little bit crazy. Two boss are down. Escape rope. Rope. Pretty rude, dude. Promote the spite ups without the EXP share. I'm gonna send up this Cramorant, and we are going to use Spit Innocently for 110. Okay. Go for turn. Attach here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm well drawn to that boss's orders. We're gonna play a nest ball. Look through the deck real quick. Plays three boss. What so is happening? So we have eight what cards I was in deck. Wasn't the case. We're gonna also play Ultra Ball to get rid of Leafy on VMAX and Lost City. Alrighty. And if I shuffle up here, I'm gonna draw four off of Industrious Incisors. If I don't see it, uh, I lose. If I see it, I still probably lose. <laughs> it's worth a shot, we'll though, right? It's much closer than okay. it was. You're gonna cut me right to it. Industry says for four. Nope. Somehow. That is actually cringe. Um. <laughs> that's okay oh, no. though. I can still retreat into the other spite ops. Yes. Yes, you can. And attack, which you know, all things considered, is not the worst. Now you don't have boss in hand, so. Look for this. Wire hang for 200 and... What did we decide it was? 240 damage. Oh, wait. No, well, not with him. You still get the knockout, yeah, yeah. but... What yeah. is it, though? So he's 4 retreat cost, 120, 210. That is your first prize taken, and Yo. this is still a very close game. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> I, I do, considering my hand here. All right, sweet. We need some things... Hands there. Okay. This is pretty scary, not gonna lie. I think we have to promote the convey. Draw for turn. Nest ball. We'll grab another goo draw. Another goo? Double check, see what's going on in here. I mean, it feels like I'm mounting a comeback here, but I mean, I'm still on There's the edge of my seat, just, just gotta, waiting for you to drop down boss's thing. orders, right? I'm going to go back in here with Mirage Gate. Oh, great. More thinning of the deck. That's great. 
<laughs> I only have to see two cards here, man. Only two cards. Yep. Of course, you're setting up another attacker, though, which is not good news for me. Go to tap. I'll tap. We will select the flowers. Don't need that one. I guess I can do my best to guarantee it. No. Yeah, I can't do that. It's just going to be a pass. Okay. Draw for turn. I could. I just can't. I can't do Attach that. Attach on the spite ops EX. I did hit the boss's orders, so I think... There it is. Was it the next card? It, it was the next <laughs> card. Thank you to someone. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who is currently here on Twitch watching this live. You guys will most likely be seeing this on YouTube later, but uh, thanks for hanging out with Let's us, see. and I hope you're enjoying the stream. Now I could theoretically kill the Gudra V. Is that even good? That might be the play, because then you're eventually forced to attack with the V-Star, and you can't Moisture Star anymore, and I could just kill it, so... I think, strangely enough, we're going to boss the Gudra V. Okay. Um, Reboss down. I would just, I would hope that you don't play for at this point. Funny thing is, we used to. <laughs> oh we just took it out last did. night. <laughs> I think, though, a split with the Serena or two could be actually pretty good. Yeah. I can see how boss could potentially be good, you know, get something Yeah, I mean, stuck, the, kind of the idea here, right, is you increase the retreat cost so much that boss's orders actually becomes a really powerful stall right. card. Um, it's hard in the lost box, though, because you have so many switching outs, right? Yep. Um, let's just go for the wire hang here for 200 and... Oh, gosh, what even is it? 618. You have 270. Three ounce, so it's 270. 270. 270, yep. Yep. All right, now you're going into Roxanne turns. I mean, not that I care too much. My deck is like three cards I would, and yeah, I have I'm barrel, just so. I hope that you don't play a fourth boss, because I think it's still always correct to promote that. We'll draw for the turn. Flower selecting. I don't think that we're there quite yet. You're going to use concealed cards. Nope. Unfortunate. Let's go ahead and play Raihan. Okay. Get the water. We're going to go ahead and put that onto the Radiant Greninja here. something else let me tell you <laughs> spite ops actually doing spite something ops this game the thing i'm excited to see it uh, work a little bit can i do anything with this that's the real question here i don't know so you took a card off rock of off our hand yep. okay cool all right, cut her tap. Suppose we'll go ahead and attach this defiant band here. Ooh. Not attach for turn just yet. I'm gonna attach to Greninja, and we're just okay. gonna pass. Cool. I will draw for turn. Now, I have to assume that he potentially grabbed a boss's orders off of that Raihan to set up for game next turn. Would be a fair um, assumption. I'm going to go ahead and Echoing Horn the Gooder V back onto the bench. Okay. And then play Judge. Alright, we'll see what we got. I'm hoping I can get it this turn. I think maybe I have two turns. Go tap. 
cut. Drawing four. Probably got him right into it. But course, we will always. wire hang for the knockout here. Send up the Comfe. Draw for the turn. Conceal cards. Time to look at the discard once again. Roxanne, Judge, Judge, three Judge, and a Roxanne down. I'm gonna loss vacuum. Let's get rid of this uh, this exp share here. Okay. Probably matters a little bit more. I mean, they're both irrelevant, but right. The next knockout is the last knockout of the game. So you echoing horn this during your turn, so I can evolve it. Isn't that right? Yeah, I think so. I believe so. So I'm gonna go ahead and evolve it. Flower selecting. Pass. Okay. We're down to two. Off for more. turn. So I have potentially one turn left. And I know with every flower selecting you're getting closer and closer to the combo. Um, fortunately, I know that you I need... I quite literally have four <laughs> cards in deck. You need like a switch <laughs> card and a boss's orders. Um, how many cards in hand? Three cards in my hand. Three cards in hand. So judging you technically gets you one more card. I think I think all I can do here is just wire hang for the knockout and well, let me replace the stadium first, sure. make it a little more awkward for you. And then wire hang for knockout. Just all hope right. that you don't have it. And that should do it. That was a very close game. We don't top deck it, but we've got the Pokemon oh, here. Guarantees it. That will search for that boss. Hey, Bosses good game. up the Luminion. GG, that was that insane. was close. What in the world? I was up six to one. And Mason was one turn away from winning that. Awesome. And to confirm again, you did say you're going first. That is correct. Okay. Cool. Good luck. Good luck, man. You're off for turn. This hand is kind start. of absolute butts. Um... <laughs> <laughs> nest ball. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I need a couple tarantulas in play here for sure. Get them battle VIP passes. Yeah, I think that's a change we're going to make to this deck for sure. Yeah. You do want a lot of things on the bench, so mm -hmm. it does make sense. Yeah, like turn one you want as many tarantulas as possible. Round two tarantulas, I would say. Alephion is great Alephion. to get the, um, whatever the ability is called. Um, Ultra Ball, we spite up set of energy there. Okay. Makes me wonder what your spite ops line is. I feel like it yeah, was a four three, but it's a four four. Oh wow, okay, because you discarded one. Yeah. Uh, last game right away, so. Yeah, and you got three into play. Yeah, man, it's four, one of those four. things. The more, the merrier, right? Right. Need them all. If you can make some things a treat cost four more, that's pretty insane. Yep. Especially a Gudra. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll attach return here. And pass. Okay. I will draw for turn. This is about as good of a hand as I could have asked for. We got a battle VIP pass. But we'll see the prizes. Who knows what lies in here. Ram rent this turn into this specifically is not going to be real helpful. That thing's stuck. Do not want to get knocked down next turn, but I don't think I will with that. There's no Leafeon in play, 
So I think getting one Gudra down is going to be just fine. Didn't press any of those. Got to make sure those switch cards are in there. Well, we're going to battle packs for a Greninja and a Comfey. Reap. Typical Lost Box setup over there. Yep. Better tap. I'll go ahead and use Concealed Cards. Going to flower selecting. You're just gonna go. Forest. Gonna get rid of nest ball and lost vacuum. Not the choices that I wanted to make necessarily, but the three cards that I grabbed there, definitely the correct choice. I don't think you could really go any other way with that one. Okay, so now this is where the Cramorant could be pretty good. Little nest ball. Grabbing that Cramorant. Because with Escape Rope, I will be knocking out a Tarantula guaranteed. Tap. I've used Cool Rest for the turn. We will do the Escape Rope. Yikes. Don't think it's worth burning another switch out potentially. Oh wait, I have only to. Have three yeah, in the lost zone. So. Yep. It has to happen. Flower selecting. Rid of a gate. Definitely could have sequenced that a little bit better. We are going to attach return onto the Gudra. Then we'll go ahead and use a switch. Now that we have four in the last zone, we'll go into this Cramorant and you spit innocently for the knockout. Sweet. I will promote the Tarantula with an energy. Draw for turn. Attach here on the active. Evolve. And play Judge. Man, he's got all the sauce in the hand there. Yeah. Unfortunately, starting with a minion V right. really sucked. You're getting a knockout on that baby spider there. Pretty good. Makes it actually somewhat possible to retreat. <laughs> yeah. Draw four. Okay. Put down Tarantula, a Leafy on V, and go for a Nest Ball. Yeah. Okay. Definitely want to start wow, getting... Wow, that was a nuts judge. Yeah, it's pretty good. I need to get Vibrail, I think. I do wonder if you Wire Hang or you Greening Cells here. Mm-hmm. I guess you'd One probably the same go thing. for the attack. Yeah, I can't really let you keep hitting me and in, hitting into me with Cramorant, and I think that's a pretty good attacker for you in this matchup. Yes. Oh. Greninja's a pretty real threat at this point. Getting a second Tarantula would be a problem. Um, unfortunately, Bidoof is prized. You're on the, uh, the 1-1? One, one. Yeah. You just seem to have a lot going on in your deck, so I need more than that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Ooh, the Manaphy grab. Nah, this okay. deck is a mess. But, here we are, using Wire Hang for 120 <laughs> to kill a Cramorant. There it is! Sweet stuff. Cutter tap. Actually, you're doing 150. Right oh, yeah, you're right. It was 150. You're doing just enough. It is going to be the Confe Promotes. And I will draw for the turn. 
We'll go ahead and flower selecting. I forgot to mark your prize. Choices. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I think it's gotta be the Poke Gear. I prefer to get rid of that, but that's okay. We'll rest. Keep it, keep it, and keep it. The V Guard and the other Poke Gear are gonna go. Seems just fine. That opens up the Mirage Gate. We'll go on to this Gujar V. I'm going to go back into the deck here. Ultra Ball discarding the Battle VIP Pass. Yeah, we're going to get rid of this Energy Recycler. Grabbing the Guja V, sir. Now this Escape Rope coming up, I feel like is a super, super good one, because there's not really a good option for you. Yeah, I don't care too much about giving up the Mana Fee, as right. long as I can evolve that Tarantula but... next turn. Yeah, but being ha uh, I'll have my uh, snipe ability back mm -hmm. to uh, set up for a nice two shot if needed. So I will go ahead and use the escape rope. But let's see here. To be honest, I think I'll just give you the Luminian V. Oh, okay. Put me in Doraxan turns. Makes yep. sense to me. And I'm gonna rolling iron for the knockout. Cool. I'll Going down the to Fion three prize cards. Up for turn. Now the reason I did this is I have Snowleaf Badge in my hand. Okay. How many cards in hand? I currently have five cards in my hand. Okay. Down two escape rope and a switch. Let's see here. Will Roxanne or Judge be alive once here. again? to kind of a point of desperation here. I'm actually going to boss up Radiant Greninja. Okay. Three into Spite Up EX. And end my turn with Greening Cells. Alrighty. Looking, I thought you were going to get a nice KO here, but that makes sense. We'll draw. That is a fantastic top deck, and oh, you're going great. to beat me. Boss, oh my gosh. switch. All right, cool. My top deck to the switch. Fortunately, and then it's just going to be a rolling iron on that leafy on okay. for the knockout. We'll be promoting the spite up ex. Yep. And I need to top deck Roxanne, or I lose. So it's a nest ball. There you go. Grab that squawkabilly ex. So we just have the first turn. Okay, we're heading for 210 minus yeah, right. 80. We do just have Whoa. a boss for a game. You found him that game. Yep. GG. Hey, GG's. Yeah, no disruption there. It was definitely tough. Again, yeah. I did get fortunate on the Switch top deck. But that would have also been a cold rest turn. I had a pretty mm -hmm. insane hand off of that. So I was fortunate that you did not disrupt it. Cool. Well, I think all the viewers got a valuable experience out of this one, seeing how bad <laughs> Spine Ups is, so they don't have to play for themselves. <laughs> All right, YouTube, thank you so much for watching that match. Spide Ops EX is the best deck in format confirmed. My name is Matt. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I, f I forgot that the other mic doesn't work. That's Mason over there. And this has been Control Chaos Gaming. Thank you so much for watching.